guys, I'm Manpreet and I make book related videos on this channel. If you like books, make sure you subscribe and follow me on my social media and I'm doing this thumbs up, I don't know why. And also turn your notifications on so that you know when I post my new videos. And there's also this competition that happens if you are the first commenter and if you commented more than the previous winner, you get a book from me of your own choice. So, good luck for that. I have seen the previous winners complaining that the competition is getting too tough but you can win if your notifications are on so keep them on. So sometime back I was doing this live video where one of you asked me this very deep and introspective question that was well, what lacks in Indian authors. There are so many Indian authors right now and there is this boom of publishing in India that is happening but still we don't see many Indian authors reaching that international scale even getting into something like new york times bestseller list you know i do not consider the people who reside in canada or us as indians so if they are canadian i'm not counting the superwoman and people like that even when i'm proud of them the real indian authors like the indian citizens what is lacking in them when there are so many books that are being published what is the problem that people are still reading foreign authors in india now the discussion for this can be never ending and I really want to invite you guys to make sure you are a part of this discussion and you discuss that with me in the comments down below but I am going to put forth my points that why I feel like you know there is something that is lacking in Indian authors and what lacks in them. Number one lack of authenticity. Now I feel like a lot of Indian authors are usually inspired by foreign authors and because of the fact that they want to reach that level, they often end up replicating or trying to replicate those authors. What happens is that their books are not truly Indian. The touch is not Indian, the vibe is not Indian because they are trying to copy that British author or US author or Swedish author. So the Indian vibe is missing and I feel like if I have to read a book and if I have to choose between two things. One of the major reasons why I would want to read Indian books is to get that Indian vibe and if you're just removing all of that because you're trying to replicate some other author then the failure of your book is just inevitable. Now the rest of the points can very much be you know clustered into this one thing called lack of hard work. I'll tell you what kind of hard work most of the Indian authors lack and which makes their book close to pathetic. So the point number two here is lack of research. Now there was this book which I also included in one of my worst books I have ever read video and in that book so there is a lot of part of this book that is set in Jammu because the characters are from Jammu and stuff like that. This author discusses that yeah you know the wife is cooking Vazma for the husband. Vazma is supposed to be a big sized buffet and the author describes that as like a single dish and I feel like I lost my interest in the book right at that point because you didn't even do enough research to find out about the thing you're mentioning in your book and it's so important because the person is from Jammu and if you do not know this that really shows how much in depth people go to like there are these authors I, I'll talk about foreign authors that go to different places because they want to have the right vibe and they want to do the real research for that thing and then there are these authors who are you know not even making a google search of something and putting that stuff into the book so that really tells you the standard of indian books at present number three proper book writing now i feel like the major reason that happens is because that most of the you know wannabe writer right now they are not even readers they do not like to read books and they kind of boast it like i have seen writers were like please read my book boasting on social media i have never read a book in my life even if you have read so many books you really need to analyze all the books from the point of view of writing you have to see how plot is built how the outline has to be done how the characters have to be done and you have to take your inspiration from stuff and you have to take your inspiration from everything around the world and work on it but most of the indian authors don't do that 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 really 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 ruins the book Number four reason is lack of finishing. By finishing I mean you know how your book is as a final product. People who do not really know about writing they think that a book 
is just about you know writing it and getting it published it's not that after writing a book there are so many things that have to be done and even writing now indian authors think that they have written a book and uh, a couple of their friends read it and they liked it and now they can get it published it's never like that first of all if you haven't done like at least 2 3 5 6 drafts of your book that means your book is just not ready like if you haven't read your book 10 times and liked it that means your book is not ready like i agree that you can never be sure or never be you know sure about your book but you really really have to work hard on it and if you haven't done redrafts that means that you just really do not care what happens to your book and then comes the proofreading editing and beta reading part now proofreading really really makes a difference because books are published that are like totally unreadable once i got a book and trust me guys that was the paid review the guy paid me and then i started reading the book and there was not even sentence formation that was correct and i go to this like i talk to this person who paid me and i was like your book is unreadable i cannot read it but i am also not going to refund your money which is my policy so that guy was like okay and i'm just amazed this guy self published his book and spent lakhs of rupees on it and he didn't think that he needed proofreading he needed editing and the book was really unreadable like sentence like i am not talking about grammatical mistakes here i am talking about sentences that you cannot understand because they are written wrong then there is the part of beta reading now again i do paid reviews you guys know that and this author paid me and i didn't like her book and she was like my family loves this book and how can you not like it and i'm like your family loved it that's the biggest problem did you go and show your book to anybody else because if you had done that maybe you would have improved your book because beta reading is again so important and then comes the publishing part so a lot of people you know take the easy way out and go for self publishing i do not have any problem with it as long as you have done your best to keep the book ready for publishing okay talk about publishers now there is this author actually a set of authors who was just ranting about the publishing houses not uh, replying to them with an answer whether they read their manuscripts or not whether they are going to publish the manuscripts or not and i was like you know i i do not have anything in my heart where i want to take the sides of the publisher but it is just being unreasonable because you think you just wrote a book so you are the most important person in the world all those thousands of people who sent their manuscripts as well you think a publishing house is supposed to reply to all of you and give you regular updates on what is happening to your book that is like being unrealistic first of all because the fact is even when we talk about like publishers have money and all that stuff they still do not have so much of money and resources that they can read every single manuscript that comes to them and they can you know just uh, publish every single manuscript that comes to them so it happens you do not have to rant about it what irritated me was it was not the rant about the competition or anything it was a rant about they have to work on it like if you are an author who isn't ready to struggle then you do not really deserve to be published like that's the end of the story a lot of people talk about nepotism and privileges and stuff like that all those people really want is an easy way out and there's no easy way out to good things so that's my personal belief and that is why i think a lot of people even in other aspects of their lives lack because they just do not want to work hard number 5 is lack of marketing effort i know marketing takes money you know uh, you may go to a lot of you know people who do not charge for book reviews and stuff like that but most of the good ones are uh, i'm not calling myself a good one if you are trying to be from hate comments okay i'm just saying most of the good people charge because it takes a lot of you know equipment a lot of money to actually run this kind of thing <sighs> and it also helps us be more professional than we would otherwise be anyway getting reviews is not the only thing you do for marketing and marketing is a vast subject and it takes a lot of money and effort to do book marketing so a lot of people just think oh, i do not need to do it i'm just going to contact some bloggers who are happy with freebies and I'm, some are like so cheap they would not even give you a paperback copy because they think your levels are so low you will accept anything <laughs> <sighs> i'm not trying to offend anyone trust me
but you know that happens that means that they really do not want to do their marketing in a serious manner they really do not believe in the product and want to spend on it and when you do not market your book your book doesn't sell it's a simple thing you feel like superwoman is so popular and superwoman is like you know so 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 popular her book would have sold anyway but did she just think that you know i'm so popular and people are going to buy my book anyway so i do not need to promote it no she did so many collabs she did a book tour she did so much of promotion and the publisher also helped her out because she wanted to sell her book and that is what you have to do if you want to sell your book you have to promote it there's no other way around so i feel like most of the indian authors think that writing the book is just enough and they do not really need to put an effort on it so their books don't work and some indian authors even when they're self published like kalki by kevin missile is a sort of self published book because the publishing house is co-owned by the author but he is spending so much of effort into marketing his book because he wants it to work and all those people who give an excuse about i do not have money to market my book and i'm like you are wearing a 5000 rupees jeans and you cannot spend a single penny on your book that sounds absurd and i do not want to read your book and lastly i feel like self publishing really intensifies such issues self publishing is typically like i give the company 80000 or 1 lakh rupees and they publish a certain number of copies for me i decide whether i want it to be edited i decide how the cover is going to be and all that stuff and that makes everything turn really really you know bad and don't get me wrong there are so many self published books that i've read island game of modern life so many like i cannot even count all of them right now on my fingers and i have loved them i loved them so much i feel like some books published by renowned authors are much below the level of these self published books but at the same time there are people who get unserious about it there are people who you know just publish a book for the sake of publishing it and when i as a reader i'm not even talking as a booktuber in this entire video i'm just talking about as a reader when i read that book and i see that kind of work i never want to read your book again and i will tell 10 different people to never read your book that's the whole story so yes guys this is what i feel like lacks in indian authors i hope i didn't offend any of you last time i made a video about irritating things about authors a lot of people were offended because i said that about them people were like oh my god you're filled with so much of hatred some people just do not get the point but my point here is if you did not get it if you do not have enough brain i think you are not my subscriber that's why but if you still do not get the point my point is to just highlight the things which i feel like makes a book not good enough and i really want indian books to succeed and i feel like having these discussions will probably make some hard working authors read about these no more about what can make the book better or what can make the book worse and you know work on that and that's why i need to keep having these discussions so your comments will really keep me inspired and your comments will really help me out to have more videos like this and your comments will also help the authors out so make sure you comment about what you think about these points it's totally fine if you do not agree with me we just need to have a discussion about this this is not like a debate happening just a discussion so comment below thank you so much for watching this video i hope you really liked it like it's i think it's going to be very long and a more rant sort of thing but let's see how it turns out to be thank you so much for watching this video this is manpi signing off I'll be back with another video very soon